So Nathan, what were you doing in 1982? Uh, well, I was 11, and uh, unlike you, I think about it then, you graduated college. <laughs> I was in grade school. I was actually graduating high school ah. at the time. And that is, of course, when the Jeep Scrambler, which was a CJ with a pickup bed, was popular. And of course, guys, we're here at the Easter Jeep Safari, and um, well, we have a Scrambler. You know what? Look at it, guys. I mean. That really harks back to the 80s, a time I wanted to forget, but maybe you guys can appreciate. You know, Nathan, uh, when one is driving prototype Jeeps here at the Easter Jeep Safari, one works up an appetite. That's right, baby. Nothing really happens that appetite like beef jerky. Yeah, especially Paisley's beef jerky, which is local and grass-fed. That's right, baby. Anytime is jerky time. Oh, yeah. All right, Nico, so when we were doing uh, some research for our Comanche build, we wanted to get a Scrambler, uh, uh, but they're kind of beyond our budget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're expensive now. But I remember these graphics from the original Scrambler. This is pretty much the same graphics pattern that the original Scrambler had, and you guys have taken the Gladiator, and I guess uh, you're paying homage to uh, the Scrambler. So tell me about this concept you and your team put together. So this is another cool thing. It's a little bit of a time warp. We're gonna take you back in the 80s again here. Um, so we obviously we have a rich history with uh, Jeep trucks. Um, so this particular design was inspired by uh, C the CJ8 yep. um, trucks that were built from 1981 uh, to 1986. And this particular design was inspired by the 1982 Scrambler. So we basically took the graphics off of that vehicle and applied it to this modern uh, Jeep truck. You know, the Scrambler is a much sought after Jeep right now, but Fun fact, apparently there are three different names for three different versions of orange. Or is it pumpkin? Or is it orange? Or is it, well, there's, yeah, it's confusing. And some of the cool things that uh, are um, uh, displayed on this is we are taking some of the production colors and integrating them into the graphic. So this is pumpkin, it's a production color, and nacho yellow. So this is kind of a nice play on you know, our history and kind of a, a modern spin on some of the retro graphics that we have here. And the wheels too. Yeah, so this is, uh, we're calling this orange. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a, a, a cool spin on it. It's a production wheel. It's a 17 inch slot design that we for. And how big is the uh, tire? The tire is a 37 inch yep. uh, KM3, yep. just like what I showed you on the um, the J6 concept. Check this out. This is unique to the Scrambler concept. This bar goes all the way up and integrates into this, which goes into the bed. Now what they did was they added tie downs right here, six of them. If you guys demand it, who knows, maybe they'll build this for the Gladiator because it would be really cool. By the way, an extra tie down right here as well. And you have the lights coming into the bed so you can blind anybody who's loading it. The bed bar out back that kind of does a throwback again into time in the 1980s all over again, doing a tubular um, bar system that was inspired by the trucks back then in, in a body color, um, bright white finish. So again, this vehicle um, is, um, it's 80% there for you to like build up just like this. Two inch lift kit, JPP lift kit. This is a JPP rock rail. Um, and I don't know if you know the difference between the production rock Rubicon rock row. This has a little wider cross section. So it gives you body protection, but it also helps with ingress, egress. So you can actually use it as a step maybe. You can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like this uh, kind of tan brown color. That's, yeah. not, that's not a factory. No, that's a concept uh, finish too. And yeah. again, just uh, playing well, up factory, this. Uh, but yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, the color is yeah. obviously uh, conceptual. but. Yeah, again, playing up that those cool, bright, loud colors uh, that were um, uh, you know, existent in the past and just bringing them to life again. I also like the fact that you did something interesting here. You, you took the lights, right, and 
going forward, of course, but then you've got a couple going backwards, which is nice. So if you're working at night and you've got a dirt bike or something, you want to put them in there, you can actually light up your bed. So what's cool about those lights, Roman, yep. um, they're diffused. Yep. So you can actually look into them. So it doesn't uh, blind you. So it doesn't blind you. So a really cool feature. I mean, we do have access lighting there um, in, the, in the box. That's like production, but <clears throat> you know, this is just added uh, task lighting. Nathan, what was the 80s known for? Uh, cocaine and uh, Miami Vice. Big shoulder blades. Yeah, you know, the women the, the, had those big, shoulder pads. Yeah, yeah, and of course, big exhaust pipes. Yeah, and these come pre squashed, so you don't have to even worry about that, Roman. Exactly. You know, when you transition from one vehicle into the Scrambler, all of a sudden it's like driving a luxury truck. <laughs> it's so squishy and smooth and easy to drive, no problem. Out of all the concepts here, I think this is the one that Roman absolutely likes the best. The other thing is that the interior is really set up to be kind of luxurious, lots of leather, lots of brown leather, which looks cool. So it does hark back to the old days of the way they looked, but of course they didn't have the luxurious ride, and engineering, comfort, efficiency. Yeah, pretty much the old days weren't that great. Yeah, but the Scrambler, it's actually one of the better driving vehicles at this event. I'm impressed. Really smooth. Yeah, I, I suspect this is much better off-road than, than the original Scramblers, because the original oh, Scramblers yeah. were a little, uh, let's call them a loosey-goosey when it came to kind of rolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is all modern uh, powertrain, modern suspension, and I mean, it's just a blast to, to drive. Uh, and, any Easter eggs? Um, uh, Easter eggs on this is it's all right in front of you here. Um, the graphics are are, are all uh, are Easter eggs on this vehicle. Any, so anything on the interior? On the interior, there's a few things. Yeah. It's cat skin oh. uh, leather seats, um, and also it's a, a unique pattern that yeah. uh, it's not on our standard um, gladiators. <clears throat> so um, it's highly integrated into the into the seats there. Orange stitching again, playing up on the the exterior. Um, you know, graphics. The IPs were wrapped in um, leather also with the orange stitching. I'm going to point out the aux bank switch in the center stack again, and again the um, trailer brake control that taps into that 77,650 pound towing capability. I mean, this truly has that ability. The J6 concept is just a concept at this point, so there's no real rating on that vehicle, um, but this truly has that, uh, that capacity to tow um, all your toys. You know, this is, out of all of them, this is the one that feels the most uh, ready for uh, Moab, right? I mean, it seems like you, you could actually, this is very close to production, right? It, would, oh, yeah. it wouldn't take a lot. I mean, no. you know, uh, the graphics package, cats can seats, you know, different color on the, on the roof, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Like I said, I, I think 80% of this uh, concept is, is reality. Um, you know, uh, the remaining uh, percentage is, you know, uh, just concept, but yeah, I mean, you can, if you're um, ambitious enough, you can probably turn this thing into exactly what we have here um, in front of you. True fact, Nathan, did you know that the CJ almost killed the Jeep brand? Really? Yeah. It wasn't until the YJ came along, you know, the one with the square headlights, uh, that Jeep became what it is today because the old CJs, they would roll over. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. And the Scrambler was basically a CJ. Yeah, but now you've got all of the modern coolness of a Gladiator with all of the much cooler coolness of the 80s retro Scrambler all in one package. Yay, retro. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, 80s reviews. See you next time.